Hey everyone, uh, this is Mr. Megapies here, and I'm going to be showing you my favourite terminal hacks um, uh, on the Mac. And I'm just going to give you a brief introduction of what terminal actually is, if you're not familiar with it. Um, it's basically a way into the command line world of your Mac. It's designed for you to type in specific commands that you would not be able to do otherwise. This is great for customising your Mac and unveiling hidden features which Apple don't allow by default. But it's also a good way to destroy your system, so you have to be really careful. And I recommend if you do not, if you're not familiar with how it works, to not um, type in anything unless you know for sure that it's not going to affect your system. I, I know for sure that none of these are going to break your computer. I would not recommend typing in anything else and you, you need to have um, typed in the commands exactly. If you do not do that, it's possible that things could go wrong. So you have to be extremely careful. So to find terminal, you can type in terminal into spotlight. If you don't get anything there, you can go into applications, utilities and terminal should be at the bottom just there. So we open that up, you'll get this window here. Um, as I've said before, it's your way into the command line world. It's your way into the Unix system of Mac. So, for example, everything's based on doing lines of code in the system. Or What you see, you don't see the code, you see the graphical interface, which is what you see here. You see the icons, you see the text, you see the buttons, and things like that. But in the background, behind all of this, stuff is happening. So, for example... If I was to open this folder here, a line of code has been um, written to say open this folder and show the user that you've opened this folder. Same goes for closing the folder, selecting windows, opening applications. It's going to run lines of code and it's going to show that to you. It's, those codes are going to tell the computer to show it to you in a graphical way so you can see what's going on. Anyway, that's enough for now. I'm going to show you what you can do in the terminal. Remember type it in exactly as I do. I will have this this document in the description um, uh, below the video and as I cannot stress how much you have to type it in exactly how I've typed it otherwise you could do some serious damage to your computer and I cannot be held responsible for that and I did warn you. So the first thing is pretty cool you can get terminal to talk so you could literally write say and type anything you want. So, hello viewers. You can get it to type anything. It usually it has a funny like American accent, but it doesn't pronounce everything perfectly. But um, it does Hi. work. It's pretty cool. Um, just thought I'd show you that. Interesting. I didn't know it could do that until recently. Next thing is you can put dashboard widgets on your desktop by typing in this command here. This requires a reset, so I, I'm not going to be able to show this to you now, and I haven't got it enabled at the moment. But you can take the widgets from your dashboard and put them onto your desktop, um, so you don't have to go into the dashboard to do that. It's going to be a bit more resource intensive, so it might slow your computer down slightly if you've got an older machine, but the newer ones, it shouldn't affect it too much. As I've written here, restart required. The next thing is revealing hidden files inside the finder so if we um, copy this one it doesn't always work but if we type it in copy and paste is fine and you must hit enter to make it go through and then write kill all and dock with a capital D and that should work if that doesn't work sometimes kill all finder works um, yeah, you have to do kill all find. I'm just going to quickly change that. Kill all and finder. And then you can see if we go into the Macintosh HD, we've got all these new files which are actually hidden, which you are not allowed to be going into according to Apple. But they're hidden. They come up slightly greyed out, but you can go into these files. Not all of them have anything in it, but um, some of them you don't have permission to access unless you find some more lines of code but you've got all the hidden files that you in case you you feel like you want to access that and if you don't want the hidden files you change yes to no kill all finder it will kill finder and then you'll see 
it's right back to normal. The next thing is um, changing the menu bar to white. Obviously, I cannot show you this, but what it does is it you see this menu bar up here. It will change it to a block white color, and uh, that's basically it. I think you got to be extra careful with this, as it's a sudo command, and sudo commands are especially dangerous. So. I'd probably wouldn't use it, but you can if you really want to. It does require a restart. The next thing is, I think this is really cool, is you can actually play Tetris in the terminal. This is not something you'd probably expect, but there's lots of hidden cool stuff inside this terminal. So if we type in Emacs, E M A C S, and you'll see uh, this new screen here. You press ESC and then X. You'll see the prompt here now is MX. And then type Tetris. Hit enter. And it should, should work. Okay, I'm going to try that one more time. Um, Hold on. Hold on, if I just close that and try it again. So, Emacs, enter, and then you do esc and then x, Tetris. Ah, it doesn't work. Okay, just a moment. Right. Ema okay, so escape X and then type Tetris. There we go. And see now you have a f like a proper Tetris game. It's really cool. And you can play Tetris just as you would expect from a Tetris game same kind of rules apply for Tetris, you flip them around tells you what's next, how many shapes as well it's really weird but you know it's pretty cool I think it's really awesome that you can play Tetris and it's like free as well so that's on the plus side so there's Tetris that you can play I'm sure there's many other things you can do with the Emacs um, command line. Then the next thing is um, if you are considering like checking the performance of your computer, if um, you can stress test it. Now to stress test, you're going to need the terminal open, and if you open up Activity Monitor, it will show you what's going on. So if you go to your Utilities folder in Applications, and it is at the top there, activity monitor I just have in my dock here. So you can see the CP usage and at the moment I have two cores so there's two little windows. The more cores you have, the more windows you have, the less cores you have you'd only have one. For example you would have one of these menus. You can double click on it and view it like bigger if you want but that's no real need for now. But if you want you, you can, in the terminal I mean, you can type in yes and it will just um, keep writing Y, 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 and you can see the scroll bar goes up and up. Um, all it does is it's typing like a million Ys, and you can see the CPU is uh, through the roof. So if we just quickly close that, that's one example of a stress test. Um, the next example I'm going to show you is a bit more intense. If we copy this line in to the command, Sorry, um, I have to do it again. Copy, paste. We paste that in and we open another window, paste it in. It, the, the more calls you have, the more windows you open. So if I have two calls, you open two, um, two terminal windows and type the same thing in. And you'll see the calls are going crazy. And when I close them off, you can see it goes right back down. So that's just a quick way of stress testing your computer to see if it can handle um, handle it, um, see how hot it goes, I don't know, depending on what you want to use that for. Uh, could be anything. 
the next thing is you can bring like the 2D so you know when the the dark is at the bottom and you get this sort of um, style where it's on that glass sheet um, and when you put it on the on the sides you get the 2D effect what you can do is you can get that 2D effect on the bottom if you want to by typing in this command here so you type in that command and then you write kill all doc so if I show you now copy paste kill oops all doc and you can see now I have the 2D duck at the bottom of the screen. Now if I don't want the 2D duck anymore, I change yes to no. We do kill all duck. And you'll see I have it back to normal. And I can uh, position it where I had it before. So that's the 2D duck. You can have a nice little gradient behind the stack. Um, the stack menu is this this little folder thing here. If you If you drag a folder into the dock, you've created a stack. And you can drag it out and yeah, your little stack. But what you can do is you can have like a gradient icon behind it when you use the arrows. I've already enabled it, but if you type in this command, you can get that. Then you have to type in kill all doc again. And then you can get the nice little grey gradient behind it. The next thing is you can have your screen saver as your wallpaper. Um, I'm not going to do that now as that is going to end the recording um, but you can um, have your screensaver as your wallpaper instead of having a picture wallpaper, the static one, you can have a your screensaver if you use the screensaver but I actually don't use the screensaver so that wouldn't work for me the next thing, this is really weird but you can actually watch Star Wars, the actual, the like Star Wars IV, I think that's five or no, it's not, it's four apparently. Um, so Star Wars four, you type in that, click enter, it's gonna give you some text first, and it will actually play Star Wars in text, not with like color, but um. It will, I'm not even joking. See, look, 20th century. And there we go, Star Wars is now playing. You see it's got the text, and I'll show you a little bit later what, if it's actually got the thing. Uh, if there's any other terminal, there's some, yeah, there's a few more terminal ones you've got. You can limit your Safari history to a certain number of pages. So maybe you don't want if you well if you've got if you're on Safari all the time and use that as your main web browser, you can limit the amount of um, pages you saved in your history. So maybe you can limit to 100, limit it to 50, uh, whatever you want. So you type in this command here, and then afterwards you insert the number that you want afterwards. Um, the next one, if there's any more, uh, let's delete that. You can add a, a spacer to your dock. For some reason that doesn't work for me, but I think I've done something wrong. But if you type that in, you can add a, a little spacer in your dock if you want. You can see the Star Wars is now playing. Um, and it actually has the text as well. It's amazing. You can, oh, I've said that before, install software updates if you want to do it that way. Or you can do a quick, quick screen capture with the one at the bottom. Of course, screen capture also works with Command Shift 3 as well. So here we go, you can see we have the terminal. Actually, it best not make it bigger. I think I've just glitched it up. Terminal can go full screen as well, which is pretty cool. I've completely ruined it now. I've glitched it up, but um, Star Wars would like play nicely. It's really cool, though. You can actually see. It's like I don't know. It's no sound or anything, but it's weird. And this isn't on the on the form of uh, on the theme. Sorry of terminal, but I thought I'm going to show you it anyway. 
So if we go to to YouTube for example, I'm going to show you these quick JavaScript hack thing. It's not terminal, but it's I think it's pretty cool. Been right 15 minutes. Um, so if we go to a video, if we find a random video, so this is a random video. What you can do is um, this like really cool JavaScript hack. If you um, type in this one, so if you copy that and you paste it into the search bar, you can now edit the page so you can uh, change the text. So um, you could write anything. So maybe you want to change how many views there are. So you could write. Uh, so you could say there's more views than there really are. Maybe on one of your own videos, you want to say that you've got loads of views. Brag about it. You can see now they have loads of views. You can change how many likes as well. And yeah, you can you could basically change it, anything. And when you're finished. You change true here to false, and there we go, it's done. Now you can't edit it anymore, you can still interact with the page, and you'll be able to maybe um, share that with your friends, and say you've got loads of views. So it's quite um, interesting if you were to do that. It will work on any page, it's not just YouTube that this is going to work on. It literally work for everything. So like I said, I've got 121 million views. And uh, 324,000 likes. Uh, 400 million... Actually, 400... Million. That means I need more. Well, you can you can really mess around with it. I mean, it'd be really really funny if you were to prank your friends and they think that you've actually got uh, a million likes, a million comments, just like that. And remember, you change true to false, and it's done. And you can still interact with the page. The only thing is, if you refresh the page, you don't you don't get that anymore. I think. Actually, it doesn't. You have to open a new tab, and then go back to it, and it goes to this normal one. And then you can refresh. Unfortunately, it goes. The next thing, if you've got a page with a load of pictures on, so if we go to my home page, and if we type in this one copy it and you paste it in the pictures should dance around it's not the best example uh, if we go to game now you can see the pictures dance around it's really weird but it's pretty cool I'm not sure if I have any websites with lots of pictures on. Uh, um, I could try anything really. I believe it works. Yeah. Pretty cool. Bit random. Uh, not essential, but you know, just thought I'd show you. Uh, thanks for watching. Then. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you've found something new, something something different. Um, I don't know if anyone else has done this kind of video, but I thought I'd do it. I mean, it's something different for me. So thanks for watching. Uh,